Hey everybody, it's Frank again. I'm here with my third unboxing from Video Games Monthly. Um, anyone who's seen the previous videos knows that the last two months haven't exactly been super for this service. Uh, they sent me five games in September, the best of which was uh, Cool Spot, which is not a bad game by any stretch. Um, in October, they sent four games. I'm, I'm on the four games a month plan for $34.99 or $34.95, whatever it is. Um, so they sent four games in October, and the best of the bunch, I kid you not, was Krusty's Super Funhouse for the Super Nintendo. Um, if you're the sort of person who likes lemmings, that's cool and all, but eh, it wasn't exactly a, a banner haul. So without further ado, here's the uh, third box from Video Games Monthly. Let's see what we have here. All right, let's see. I can already tell there's a Sonic the Hedgehog in there, which, okay, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, not a bad game. Uh, already have this game. I'm pretty sure it was on my list that I already owned it, but eh, no big whoop. Hopefully the rest of the box will be more interesting. Uh, we've got a Super Mario Brothers pin. That's a little interesting anyway. For the NES, we have Legacy of the Wizard. I have not played that game. It's from Broder Buns, so I must admit my hopes aren't exactly high, but I'll give it a shot and see if that's any good. Kung Fu. Three screw version of Kung Fu. Um, not a bad game, but a very, very early NES game, and not really worth all that much either. And I don't know. I, I've played quite a bit of this game. It's one of those where it's not bad, it's not good, it's kind of in the middle, it has some historical significance, but not exactly great. And the last game they sent me this month is uh, Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. Um, I do actually remember playing this a little bit back in the day. Um, I remember the music was great, the game itself, I seem to recall after the first level, became tough as nails. Um, oh, and it looks like they've got another one of those Super Mario pins stuck inside the box there. So, my four games for $34 this month got me Super Star Wars, Kung Fu for the NES, Legacy of the Wizard for the NES, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Genesis, and a couple of Super Mario Brothers pins. Um... This is the third box I've received from them. Uh, just to tally things up over the last three months for basically $35 times three, so $105 they've sent Exo Squad, Cool Spot, Robo Warrior, TNC's Wooden Water Rage, Kid Clown and Crazy Chase, Mock Rider, Mission Impossible, Alter Beast, Krusty Super Fun House. Uh, Super Star Wars, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Kung Fu, and Legacy of the Wizard. Um, I've got to say, other people have posted videos online where their hauls have been quite unbelievable. I have to, I, I really have to wonder if those are manufactured videos, if they intentionally sent those people uh, loaded boxes just for the extra publicity. Um, I mean, there's there's no way around it. Uh, three months of, eh, I mean, it's clear that they're not doing much in the way of curation, at least on the boxes they're sending me, and I've got to say, at this point, I couldn't recommend this service to people, because you can do just as well or better than this by going to your local disc traders or any other similar store and just plunking down 35 bucks for, well, things that tickle your fancy. I mean, for $35, you can go to a retro game store and pick up a couple guaranteed winners. Um, 
they need to get somebody curating this stuff to really make the service take off. Um, my enthusiasm for it, I, I was curious. That's pretty much where my enthusiasm came from. But I think that's pretty much it for me and Video Games Monthly. Uh, if you guys have have fared well and received good boxes from them, more power to you. But I did not. Peace.